Hi guys and welcome back. In this lesson I want to talk to you about transposing. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. I'm going to show you if you're not sure what it actually is. It's moving the notes up or down a few semitones here and there to get kind of like a key change if you like. And there's a couple of ways to do that in Cubase which I'll show you now. So I've just created a very very basic house loop. So if we wanted to transpose this second half, for example, you'd come up to the info line. If you haven't got the info line, just go to the setup window display cogwheel and just make sure the info line is ticked. And all you've got to do is come to transpose, either double click it and put the value in, or you can click and drag up and down. It's up to you. And you can even maybe split this one and put this one down to maybe one semitone. So something like that. Uh, obviously you can come into the MIDI itself and just change the MIDI notes if you wanted to. That's another way of doing it. This is a good way to do it if you wanted a key change in your entire track and you've got many, many, many tracks going on. Therefore, it's an easy way to transpose the whole track and all the 20 instruments or 30 MIDI instruments or whatever it is you have going. And I'm going to show you an automatic way to do that as well, rather than having to highlight them all and do the transpose. And by the way, if you've noticed that I've got more than one selected now and the values up here have gone kind of like orange, Whereas if you only select one, they're sort of white. So that's just a, something to bear in mind. Another thing to bear in mind that if you were to do them all, I'm just going to quickly transpose these back down. I'll just undo so everything's back to transpose zero. Yeah, so if you do highlight them all and transpose, let's say, three semitones and the orange because there's more than one selected, just be careful because we've got the drums selected now and all of these beats will have transposed up three semitones, therefore you're going to get different drums. So just bear that in mind, you don't want to be transposing your drums. So I've just undone that, Control Z. Something to be careful of. Okay, so let's say you've got loads and loads and loads of tracks running, MIDI tracks, and you want to do that key change that I was talking about, but you don't want to manually go in and transpose all the individual elements. What you can do is add a transpose track. Um, it's not on the right click menu. You'd have to go to plus up here where you get a few more options and then go to more tracks and go to transpose. And now we've got an actual transpose track. And what you need to do is just go and get the draw tool. or well, I have been calling it pen tool, but it's officially the draw tool. Just add in a transpose track where you want the transpose to start. And so we'll just double click here and put in three. The trouble with this though is the whole project will go up by three semitones. You'll hear what I mean and we'll have that problem with the drums again. But fear not my friends, what you can do is just highlight all of your drums. And if you've got so many drums that they're off the screen, you can even go over to the drums track highlight it and do select all events. That way you get all of your drums highlighted if they're off the screen and come up to global transpose where it says follow, just change that to independent and you get a little marker, which is the transpose icon crossed out. So now we should be okay. And there we have it. Our transpose is working on our Halion Sonic but not on our drums. Okay guys, that's all I want to talk about in transposing. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye bye.